We're just outside the outer market here at Tsukiji, um, the largest seafood market in the world in the largest city on the planet, just to make sure you understand the, the ramifications there. Um, so as you may not know, uh, the market is moving in a couple of months. In November of this year, it's going to be moving about a mile away from here. Um, so everything's going to be moving, but this outer market here, you see a lot of different sushi shops. We were just at one, I'm going to mispronounce it, I'm going to totally botch it. It's Tsukiji Aozara Sendaime, and I'm going to make sure I have the information on my website. Uh, but it, the great thing about this restaurant is not only they give me a little class, they kind of show me how to make some nigiri, they show me how to make uh, some sashimi. I wouldn't touch their knives um, because I, I know that would be inappropriate to do that. Uh, but they did actually take me through the steps. They showed me how the rice is made, how it's mixed with vinegar and mirin. Um, then I made some nigiri myself, uh, which was kind of funny and hilarious, but I'm going to try to make it when I get back home. Um, they also offer classes. So if you come to Tokyo, you can go to this restaurant and they'll set it up for you, depending on how much money you want to spend and what kind of fish, they'll do classes for you in the back of the restaurant where I did. Now, in Tsukiji, you've got to come. It is just an assault on the senses. It's everything from the sea, from nori, kelp, uh, kombu, and bonito, to make dashi, of course, which is the foundation for so much Japanese food. Uh, everything in Tsukiji market, you can imagine, octopus, and whelk, and, and cod roe, and whale, it's whale sperm, and whale bacon, um, and whole head on, on uh, shrimp. So anything you can imagine coming out of the ocean is in Tsukiji. It is the largest fish market in the world. As you may not, if you want to come early, you can come to the, the tuna auction. That happens about 5, 5.30 in the morning. I would recommend getting there about 4, 4.30 to get in line to get a card. Um, and then about 6 to 9 a.m., all the wholesalers and distributors are doing all their action. And then after 9 a.m., the tourists can come in. And that's kind of when I was walking around from 9 to 10 a.m. Just kind of getting a little sense of the market. You really got to watch out because there's all kinds of trolleys and, and trucks and forklifts totally you know, moving around at, at a high speed. So you got to be careful for that. Um, but as long as you're kind of aware of your surroundings, um, you can navigate the market a little bit. I would recommend having a translator, having a tour operator, some kind of a fixer that they can kind of take you through and explain things because there are a lot of items that just don't have, there's just no English. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of Japanese and a lot of prices and grams. So I'd recommend walking in the outer market too. You can buy knives, you have knives made for you, you can buy some bonito, I brought some bonito, I'm going to bring back home and try to make dashi. Um, lots of things to see, but again, it's all moving after November of this year, um, so now is the time to come to Japan.